the energy of the water moving under the hull of the boat. Kayaking, where it started? It started with the Eskimo, and they learned how to right side up a kayak. How did they do that in that freezing water? I'm amazed. And then from there till today, they went sick. <laughs> They pay those guys 300 bucks to come from uh, Europe. It's been 30 years since I did my first sender, and I remember it like it was yesterday. And it was just a girls' camp, and had them doing, you know, relatively difficult water for that time. Then we saw the Olympics on TV. And said, wow, that's so much bigger and greater than what I've been scared of. And the, the payback. Is huge, you know, a pounding surf on a, on, a, on a gigantic wave. You're immediately fast friends on the river. Because <laughs> just around the corner, you might need to be. So it is a group sport, but made up of individuals who are very individual. Boom, it was on the national consciousness. Adventure and what's around the next corner. That, that really feeds my soul. People didn't understand what was going on. Nobody would seen anything like that before. The girls were after me. It was fantastic. <laughs> they had canoes in the lake, and those were the most beautiful things I'd ever seen. This is the story of some of the diverse paddlers throughout North America who transformed traditional canoes and kayaks, pushing the limits of boat design, materials, and paddling skills. Their curiosity, their sense of adventure, their passion for flowing water creates a tale as complex as the rivers they explore.